what's going on g family and as you can see we are back with another one for tonight i hope y'all boy are having a great time whenever y'all are watching this whether it's morning noon or night and i had did a harry mac freestyle uh reaction the other day and i told y'all boy let me know if he got any songs and y'all boy went in the comment section and y'all let me know. So thank you for those who let me know. You see it. We got a song from Harry Mack. We're going to check it out. I'm going to give my honest opinion on it. I know he can freestyle, but let's see how he does with an actual song that's put together. I hope it's good. I hope y'all enjoy the reaction with me, man. And I ain't going to waste no more time. I know that's short and sweet. Let's get into it. Hopefully the video don't skip for y'all, boy. Oh, I got to add. But yeah, hopefully the video don't skip for you guys. I'm sorry. The link is in the description if the video skips. But let's get into it. Go. Go. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, look, I'm going in when I feel it. All of my lyrics the realest. They love the shit that I'm pushing out. They love the shit that I'm dealing. I know they find it appealing. I'm getting prize on the whole globe. Bring that experience back home. Open the session and unload. Through the pandemic, we shed light. I kept my audience fed right. Get a 100, decided to punt it. Then they had to shut down the website. I spit this shit that's too clever. I spit this shit that's too wise. Ay, I never write it ahead of time. Grip on the mic and revise. Ay, feel like I'm cold trained. No fraudulent fallacy, false of the fantasy, never fictitious. Ay, no one can do it like me. I'm a student of the scene, off top freestyle. Used to be a sideshow, made it go viral, brought it to the masses. I don't write, but I still wrote my own story in this rap shit. Blueprint, I drafted, it's working. Other artists following the path, and I'm certain. Ay, while they type casting, I'm curving. Ay, I'm in the shadows, I'm lurking. Ay, I'm popping out like surprise, evolving in front of your eyes. Ay, I know I'm standing right there at the edge of the cliff, now I'm taking a dive. Ay, I be leaping, knowing that the net will soon appear. Ay, I'm about to bless the game with something. The new this year, 2024, ayy, what we got in store, ayy, I don't know what they can, just go ahead and press the card, ayy, I don't give them less, nah, I'ma give them more, ayy, I'ma spread my wings in this place, I'ma soar, I said 2024, ayy, what we got in store, ayy, I don't know what they can, just go ahead and press the card, ayy, but they all with physicals, cop them out the store, ayy, holding your attention, I won't never leave y'all bored, I said, uh, I keep it moving, I'm never gonna stop, it's stagnant, I break out the box They thought my shit was a novelty I treat my life like a novel and rewrite the plot Y'all know I'm bringing it right to the peak Feeding my audience week after week Start listening from the beginning You'll never be finished by catalog D uh, Break it down, rebuild like a muscle Can't nobody knock my hustle Lost in the scuffle, truly I fight Through all the obstacles, I'm doing alright Do the impossible until we hit the top Make a mark on the field like circling the crop And I make it pop like oil when it's hit in the pan Other MCs can't envision the plan What? Meanwhile, I just execute Stacking up paper, getting low Y'all know that's the shit I Fresh to death, yeah. Every time I rhyme, man, I'm feeling hella blessed. Cause this shit is effortless. I just open up the channel. I don't even know what I'm saying. Still, they can't dismantle all this shit that comes through me. I'm plugged into a godly panel. To the heavens up above, I spit the shit that's lit like candles. Melt it down to wax, then repurpose that and sell it. Put it on your turntable, spin it. Whole game getting jealous. Let's go. Go, red boy. Go. That man always be spitting. Listen, I'm glad that y'all told me about this song. I mean, well, he got multiple songs. So this this ain't going to be the only one I react to. But let me go ahead and get into it. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to let you know off top, off top, off top. I don't know if I'm going to listen to this. I don't Playability-wise, me personally, I'm not dissing the song. Me personally, I don't know if I would replay this. Only because this is my only caveat. He is talking about the same subject. 
hear me out now. Hear me out. He's talking about how he be spitting, and I get it, bro. But he got to learn when he makes a song, when he when he's doing, like, an actual track, bro, you got to talk about your life. I guess he was talking about his life, but I would rather hear more personal stuff about him. You feel me? Like, when you listen to Eminem, he's talking about the struggles or whatever he's thinking about in his songs and stuff like that. And I feel like he's on that level where he can genuinely compete with Eminem. So it's just like, you got to you gotta come out with that music that's like, you know, relatable. And you talk about, not everybody can rap, dude. I can't rap. I can't rap, dude. So I can't relate to that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So playability wise, I'd have to give it by default. You can shoot me if you want to. Shoot me down in the comments, man. I'd I love to hear your complaints. <laughs> but um, song-wise, quality-wise, awesome. Bro did great. I felt like I felt like he was doing good flowing on the beat. His word plays, you know, is always there, bro. He's always saying some stuff that it's like, bro, that the fact that you even rhyme that, like you like not that like he makes words that don't go together, go together, but it's like you wouldn't you don't know what he's about to say. You know, like you listen to some songs and you be hearing them rhyming, and then you could kind of predict what they're gonna say next, because that's how predictable it is. He's far from that, which is awesome. You never want people guessing your next line or guessing how you're going to rhyme this, your lyric or stuff like that. So quality wise, I'd have to give him I have to give him an 8.8. .8. And it's just like the only reason why he, he, he couldn't get a nine or higher is because instead of you talking about instead of you talking about how good you could rap, bro. Talk about like more personal stuff. Like you don't have to go too deep into your life story, but like talk about struggles, man. Talk about what you dislike about, you know, certain things. Talk about something that's more related to you and not such a general topic as I can rap. You feel me? Because we know you can, or at least the people who who follow and know you can, because he's not a mainstream, which I guess it's because he don't have the uh the big record label behind him pushing him. So it's just like, maybe not everybody know you can rap. You still got to prove yourself. But at the same time, bro, your core fan base knows your ability. So you got to be, you got to bring something else to the table than talking about your rapping abilities, man. But overall, it was a good song. I'm not hating on it, but it's like, and he threw a little hook in there. He a little bit. He had a little bit of a hook in there. So I got to give him props for, for him not to do songs that often. It was still a good song, well put together, but I think for him to really like reach that mainstream level, if that's his goal, you know, maybe he's not trying to be mainstream. I think he needs to start talking more about, you know, personal topics and and and, and um rhyming off of that. Like for an example, even though they're like in two different, you know, areas when it comes to rap, like King Von, for an example, the reason why his crazy stories his crazy his crazy story part two song blew up so much is because not only was he rapping and flowing good, but he was talking about real life situations. Not not everybody comes out the hood. And I don't think maybe he could have, you know, you never judge a book by his cover. Maybe he he grew up with a more privileged lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? You know, he he is of the lighter skin tone. Don't judge me here. Don't judge me. But um. Like, I'm not expecting him to rap about, you know, crime and, and doing drugs. I don't know. Maybe he does drugs or, you know, things of that nature. That's like more in drill rap. I'm not expecting that. But what I am expecting is to hear more like personal stories. Just, just, just like I was saying, like King Vaughn's song was personal. Like nobody else could have come up with that because it's something he experienced. And he's telling you what he experienced. You see what I'm saying? So. That's really my only complaint when it comes to this song. Everything else was pretty good. Maybe work on your hooks a little bit more. You know, you need to, it needs to be a little more catchy. You know, you need to have something that, you know, people can remember so they'll know to come back. Like, it'll make them want to come back to the song more. Because if you don't have that catch, at least for me, if you don't have that catchy hook, bro, it's not going to make me remember your song as much. It's not as, you know, impactful. But other than that, I think he has potentials to the potential to 
really put out some great albums, bro, EPs, mixtapes, whatever it might be. It's just up to him and what he wants to do. And I wouldn't mind seeing him do some rap battles. I don't know if he already has any. If he does, please request it down below. But that's all I got to say about him. I think he did his thing. I'm going to react to more of his freestyles. I'm going to react to more of his songs, man. So if y'all had enjoyed this video, man, let me know. I'm keeping all these videos short and simple, man. Because, well, right now, I'm about to head to the stove. I'm trying to meal prep and, 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 and have some food for myself because your boy hungry. I ain't going to lie to you. Your boy ain't got nothing to eat right now for the next couple of days. So I got to go to the stove, get myself right. But, um, yeah, man, I, I'm going to keep this short and simple, man. If y'all had enjoyed it, hit that like button. Like I said, request some more Harry Mack. Y'all ate up the last video, so I'm, I'm more than willing to keep dropping these reactions as long as y'all rocking with them. Um, yeah, right. hit that like, write something down in the comments. I got to make sure I do my spiel. And last but not least, before you head out, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, big dog. Make sure you tune in. We got content dropping every single day, so just make sure you check the channel for some new stuff if you want that new G Family Reacts. And, um... And hurry up and get us to 700, bro. At the time of me recording this, we are three away, and y'all y'all won't get beat up. You want me to come find where you live at and beat you up for not hitting that subscribe button. You watching the damn video. You know you finna watch another one, and you ain't subscribed. I, you must be want me to find you, because I'm coming. I got the shotgun ready for you. Yeah, I'm going to hit you with the pump, brother. I'm not playing. Yo, bro, speaking of the pump, I can't remember what reaction it was. But there was a reaction where I like I started hearing stuff in the background. And I got up, bro, and I had the pump with me, bro. That was so stupid, bro. That was, that was, I can't remember what reaction. Y'all going to have to find it and let me know what video that was because I, I, I don't remember, man. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoy. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace.